Wow, these pants are loud. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I did a poll on Instagram um, this morning, actually. So this is true dedication right here. After I put the poll up, I think at that point in time when I checked it, 100% of you said, yes, you want to see this. So, here I am. By the way, I am Renee, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram, and today I am going to show you how to make your very own glitter lipstick at home. DIY. Do it yourself. However, a couple things I want to say before I get into what you need and how I did this. This is just for aesthetics purpose. I don't use this at all because I use hairspray to make the glitter adhere to the lipstick. I I mean, I've accidentally gotten hairspray in my mouth while, you know, spraying my hair, and it doesn't taste very good, and I'm pretty sure it's not really healthy for you, so I would not recommend actually applying glitter lipstick that you use hairspray to make the glitter stick on, if that makes sense. I sure hope it does. You would be a lot better off just going and buying either lip gloss or actual glitter lipstick that is to be used for that purpose. The other thing I want to mention that, um, gosh, I didn't really think of a good way to say this prior to foaming. I am not an inventor of making your own glitter lipstick. There were people on Instagram that did it prior to me. There are people that did it after me. So in no way, shape, or form do I deserve any credit for doing this. <laughs> it just, I found out how to do it and I did it. So I thought I would just share with you guys how I did mine. So if you want to know what I did and how I did it, just keep watching. First, what you will need. If you're a girl and you have long hair, you need a hair tie because it gets a little messy. I normally I would do something like this, even though I'm not a very crafty person. I would actually do something like this outside on my porch, however, in Seattle, it's not very nice out, it's getting dark, it's kind of raining, it's cold, it looks like shit outside, so I'm not going out there. My patio isn't covered. So I am improvising and we're just going to do it right here. And so I have these backgrounds, I used to use these for some of my Instagram pictures, as you can see. It already has some stains on it, so, you know, what's some more glitter spilled on it and some hairspray while we're at it. So, ideally, you probably want to either be outside or inside. I'd recommend putting newspaper down on, you know, the floor or the table or something like that just because it, it can get messy. If you're me, it gets really fucking messy. So then you're going to need hairspray. As far as brands and things like that, I don't really think it matters what brand and what firmness and what style you go for, but this just happens to be actually my favorite hairspray when I actually do wear hairspray. I just find that this one it, it does everything that it claims it should. And so this is the Extra Firm Control 4 from Tresme. And one thing I do recommend 
brands don't matter, but what I would definitely recommend is an aerosol spray, you know, this kind, because otherwise the ones that aren't aerosol that come out, you know, little, you can't really control how much hairspray is coming out of the nozzle, so you don't get really an even application of hairspray, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, you will stay tuned and you'll see in just a minute what, I, what I'm talking about. So, let's get to it. Hopefully my shirt is not, you know. By the way, this shirt is from Time Los Angeles. Uh, a really sweet girl, Ashley Wagner. I'll link her channel below. And uh, she has a store where she makes merchandise, like makeup, cute little makeup shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and cups and beanies and just all kinds of super cute makeup related stuff. Oh, and my pillow, actually, this is from there too. So I'm not sure this crop top is a year, at least a year old. So I'm not sure if it's still up, but um, I believe she still has pillows. So at least I'll link her um, site below for you. Because sharing is caring, right? Right. So this one is the one that I already did. And so what I did here was, this is the color Silly, which is just a really bright pink. So you can see when you twist it all the way up that the glitter actually is not, I didn't do it all the way. So that's why, like, when you see it on Instagram and you've seen it in my videos and stuff like that, I only roll it up this much because, I mean, A, it looks kind of funny when you roll up your lipstick that much for a picture, and B, I just did, I, it was my first time doing this. Well, no, that's a lie. It was my second time. I tried on a Wet n Wild lipstick first as a trial, which, if you guys are not crafty whatsoever, then, you know, definitely don't go in with hairspray and go on some, you know, Chanel lipstick and just spray it all over because it might, you know, might not be what you want it to be. So, and, and that's hard too, picking a color and then picking a glitter. So this one is the color Silly, like I mentioned, and then what I used for this one is a uh, MAC glitter in 3D pink. By the way, no nails, guys. Don't judge. I know I was doing this, so I'm just going to put on press-ons, but mm, just screw it. So today, I have picked out the color High Strung. By the way, I would definitely recommend obviously using a color that you don't want to use. And no, I am not just doing this to waste a lipstick. No, I am not absolutely rich and have money to just be spraying all my lipsticks with glitter. <laughs> just throwing that out there. Hopefully I don't have anything on my teeth. All right. Let's get to it. So, this one I am going to have rolled up. Is that what you want to call it? A little bit more. And I'm going to move all this stuff to the side so that we can have a nice, clean work surface. So, what I'm doing with this one is using the MAC 3D in silver. So, um, and I have more, I would recommend doing not, not like the pigments because they're too thin of consistency. So you won't get that 
really sparkly look, which, um, by the way, I do have a video up on my Instagram. I'll link it below of that lipstick that I just filmed last night. There's no filter, there's no Cura Cura or anything like that on it. It is just the lipstick and not even flash. So, just wanted to throw that out there. So, what we are going to do is hopefully not make a big, huge mess. But, knowing me, I probably will. I'm just going to put that there, over there. So, I'm going to spray this way. I have another glitter paper over here. By the way, all these things that you guys see here, um, I do have a video of my full beauty room, beauty room tour and makeup collection, storage, organization, whatever you want to call it up on my channel a few videos back. So if you're curious about any of this, look further. <laughs> so I am going to just basically coat what is up of <laughs> what is up of this lipstick and then and then so I'm just gonna go like this, give it a nice even coat. And then you just kind of want to dip it. <laughs> That's the end of the tutorial. No, but seriously, it really is that easy. Um, so. I just want to top off the excess a little bit. It kind of uh, matches this glitter paper. I did good. And I'm even wearing silver glitter hoops. I'm just on a silver glitter roll. Okay, I'm digging this. So. Once again, this is High Strung, which is a frost shade, if that matters to you at all. And I just literally took the lipstick that was sprayed with hairspray, dipped it in the glitter, and now the glitter is stuck on there. I don't want to touch it. I'm going to wait till it dries a little bit. But as you can see, it's not coming off. It does stick pretty well. Um... This is a four. I think the highest is a five. So I would definitely go for something aerosol and something with a strong hold. And this is your outcome. And now I'll get to see if, how well my camera is doing at focusing stuff and my ugly nails. So that is that, you guys. I just wanted to come on here, do this real quick, because you guys requested this, and Instagram was having some sort of malfunction this morning. The notifications weren't working, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go upstairs, put on some makeup, and just make this little tutorial of how to make your own glitter lipstick. So, thank you for watching me dip a lipstick covered in hairspray and glitter. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, tune in to my Instagram. I am going to be putting up new videos every Friday, if not more, but definitely for sure every Friday. So I love you guys and I hope you're having a good day. Check out my last video to see um, Sephora sale recommendations. It starts on Friday, this Friday the 26th I believe for VIB Rouge. So make sure you check that out. Also my huge giveaway is still up and so there's still time to enter that. That is 
two videos before this one. So, thank you guys for watching. I am determined to be on here more. You're going to see me more, whether you like it or not. And that's just the way it goes. And I love you, and have a good evening.